Hey guys, I want to get down um, uh, competence and the four key um, areas of competence in competence. So let's go with unconscious, unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, unconscious competence, and conscience competence. And the reason why I've been thinking about all those four things is because um, I'm coming to, not coming to the realization. I'm just, I just, I'm very aware. I'm very self-aware of every single little thing that's wrong, if that makes any sense. And I never used to be, I never used to understand what was going on. And as I gain leverage from my situation ever so slightly, uh, I can understand what's going on um, with other people as well. Because let me tell you that um, from this position that I'm unrelatable to, my low self-esteem is really totally unrelatable, totally egotistical, totally selfish. Um, it's so unparalleled in the universe and how it manifests um, and comes across to other people that if you don't know me, you'll be surprised, you'll be watched, maybe in a bad moment you'll have to like stop and look and feel better. I mean, if you don't know me, if you do know me, then you can put up with it. But even then, sometimes it's so dark that, um, you know, you, they can't put up with it. So my point is that um, people, uh, um, co people's confidence, 99.9%, .9 is unconscious competence, incompetence. So they're unconsciously competent. And because they're unconsciously competent, they don't know how they became that because they didn't have to proactively change anything. It was just there to start with. The transition from childhood to adolescence to adulthood, it was all just um, smooth. I mean, smooth in the sense that nothing as severe as what I've done to myself has been happened to them. I'm mean, not saying smooth as in they didn't have any problems in their life, their dad didn't die and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm only kind of relating, talking to the kind of damage that I've done that's so negative that you can see like it manifests 24-7 in attracting negative tension in, and weird mannerisms and in inability to vibe and all these kind of things. So people are unconsciously competent and when they come across me they unconsciously know what's up. Unconsciously, huh? So they know how to deal with it. They don't know what it is but just they know how to deal with it. It's unconscious competence. And how that is different to how I see what I'm going through is I'm incompetent, but I'm not unconsciously incompetent. I'm consciously incompetent. So I know exactly what, one of my key strengths is I know exactly now what's going on with why I'm like this. I know exactly. So I'm conscious of the incompetence. And that is key absolute key if you want to change your life because if you stay un unconsciously co incompetent you ain't got hope as hell chance of um, getting out of your situation and like I said about other people the majority everyone they are unconsciously competent and that in itself is brilliant but if you want to teach other people how to be like you if you are unconsciously competent like the majority everybody practically they're unconsciously competent then they don't know how to teach other people how to be like them. That's key, because they're unconscious, it's not conscious behavior. Whereas, hold the phone, I'm still incompetent, but I'm conscious of the incompetence, so I know what's going on, and because I'm conscious of the incompetence, I can take conscious decisions to fix that decision of incompetence. So I can become consciously competent like them. Actually, no, I can become consciously competent, unlike them, who are unconsciously competent and when I become consciously competent there is your value to society you fuck yourself up you're uh, consciously incompetent over time over decades over years you become consciously competent and that's the difference between you and them and that's where the value comes from and then you can go and teach other people how the hell um, to do it because you've done it and you're the inspiration always strive to become uh, consciously competent. You don't want to be unconsciously competent of anything, really. I mean, some things you do, like driving and all that stuff, but if you want a skill, become consciously competent of it, then you can go and teach other people. It's awesome. I've always known that my um, my strength has always been, it's ingrained in me. The strength of mastery, kooky brain, whatever you want to call it. I just don't see the world like other people. I'm consciously incompetent. I will one day be consciously competent. I hope the same. I wish the same for you. Peace.